All right, y'all, what's cracking? So, so, I don't know if you all seen my last Sigma review that I did. Uh, I made sure I posted. I, I never could figure out. I think here. Um, but I am actually testing out a new lens right now, right? So, in that review, I also hit up Sigma. Like, I tweeted them out. I was like, yo, well, let's, 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 let's backtrack. Sigma subscribed to the channel and commented, right, on the Sigma review. Then I, I hit him up on Twitter like, yo, tw uh, yo, Sigma, can we expect a 16 to 35 equivalent anytime soon? It was like, don't hold your breath. Uh, but we have a 14 to 24 that you could check out. I said, hmm, okay. So I have that lens, right? So you're probably wondering like, what is 14 mil mil what does 14 millimeters even look like? Well, here you go. That is me extended all, like you see so much more shit in my car. Look at all of this. Ugh. I, I get the wide angle lens, but I'm not gonna lie to you. They said it on Twitter. I'm like, I should be fine, but the lens is kind of heavy. But um, that's not what today's video is about. Let's go ahead and zoom y'all back in. That's a smidge there. Uh, but right now we're about to go to the lake. Chicago is like starting to thaw out a little bit here, and now like the water and the ice is starting to break apart. So the water is looking like really nice, pretty, and blue. So I kind of just want to show you what my city looked like. You know, what's what's that looking like? So I'm gonna get some drone footage. We'll talk some shit and um, test out this new lens. Again, when I say test out this new lens, it's it's not mine. I have to return to my boy MTA uh, M two A photography, uh, but I appreciate you for letting me borrow, brother. Thank you. All right, I don't even know if y'all can even see me right now because I'm trying to expose properly for S Cinetone. But um, I just want to kind of talk to you all real quick about the cons, like the real quick cons that I immediately noticed about this lens that I want to discuss with y'all real quick. I don't remember if I said this early in the video, but let me go ahead and say it again. Weight of this lens. I hate to say it because I really want this lens to be a smidge lighter. It's very equivalent to my Sigma 24-70, which is crazy, right? It has a lot more focal lens versus this 14-24. That's the first thing. The second thing, I'm, the second kind I've noticed about this lens is like the fish eye look. So because it kind of like bulges, I'm going to have to stretch like all the way out to 14 mil. Like over here, my face, you get like that real distorted look. Like for real, for real. Um, so those are like the first, the, the two of the biggest cons I've noticed so far. Uh, pros, I love the way it looks, love the way it handles, and I like the fact that it's an internal zoom. So when you zoom in or out, you're not seeing like the actual, like it doesn't have to extend out or anything like that. It's, an, it's internal, I just said that. So let's go ahead and get out and check my, uh, check out check out this view real quick. I feel like that's good enough. Let's move y'all back and out, it's a little bit too close. All right, yeah, you're a little crooked, but you'll be fine. Let's go ahead and set this drone up. Pretty much, the reason I'm out, I'm out here even doing this, like I said, I've always wanted to kind of get this shot where it's like kind of golden hour. I got the ND fits on here. Um, but also, too, I end up leaving out to get my wife this a little bit too early, so I need to kill some time. Um, this happens to me more, more often than not. So yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Also, too, to be real, just kind of like living in Chicago, I love having a wide angle lens because if I look here, I can check my surroundings. You feel what I'm saying? Like, to be real, sometimes I kind of like don't like vlogging uh, like in my city. Just sometimes, cause, like I feel like I, I gotta always be aware of my surroundings, which you should be anyway. But at least with this 14, if I am vlogging or something like that, I can damn sure see somebody coming. You feel what I'm saying? Like coming by me. You know what I mean? So, like that. This might be our thumbnail right here. Also, too, we are still shooting the Deity D4 Duo. But since I am here, man, let me let me grab a picture. Let's see what a picture looks like in a wide angle jump. As y'all can see, this is, this is what sucks about the dynamic range of Acetone. We got to switch to S-Log 3. As y'all can see, we have a sky now. Let's fly. If you're looking to start a YouTube channel, then you're in luck. Here at Brooks Media, we cover all the things you need to know in an hour-long consultation. We go over YouTube analytics, proper hashtag usage, how to gain sponsors, YouTube setup, and best practices. My first channel gained over 1.6 million views and over 5K subs in under two years. I've gained sponsorships from Lenovo, Deity, TrabLab, and many more. The consultation is recorded for you and notes are given at the end of the call, so all you have to do is bring your listening ears and many more questions that you may have. Use the link in the description to sign up today. 
so with this lens kind of also forgot to mention with this lens having that like that you know fish eye lens and that kind of distorted look on the sides here especially and I, yeah we have 14 which is perfect i'm gonna have to zoom in at 24. so with it having that look the 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 what it having like this fish eye lens element you can't use filter so as, as far as you trying to use like a black pro mist filter or like a uh, like a variable ND, <laughs> forget about it. You can't use it with this lens. Now I kind of see why people lean towards the Tamron lens a little bit more so. Even though you don't get, you know, that wide, you get a 17 and 20 versus a 14 and 24, I would rather be able to screw on a variable ND than not be able to do like nothing with this at all. But as far as like autofocus performance and everything like that, eye tracking is working phenomenally well. Again, you know what I'm saying? Again, it doesn't matter what lens you use, and you got a powerful camera in order to use like autofocus like this. Like, so even though the 14 and 24 is technically like an older lens, you know what I mean? Um, it performs, you know, like as good as any other native lens that I've used for this camera. So let's go get Mrs. Brooks. Oh, and because it has this fisheye lens, standard little lens caps, don't worry. So you got to use this big ass cup holder. <laughs> Right, y'all we are done the video is coming to a wrap now uh, let me all know what you thought about the audio today what you thought about the lens the drone shots but i kind of just want to show you my city in this ice capades if that yep mm -hmm, that's what we're gonna call it that wasn't a lot of ice out there but it was enough to make the shots look cool so uh if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel subscribe and all that you already know the, the deal the whole spill and all that and uh, i'll catch you on the next video man we out deuces